Hi, so welcome to another video. Uh, as you can see, I'm on my own, I'm in the kitchen. Uh, that means I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking. Anyway, this morning, what I've done is I've got a text message of a friend next door neighbor. Um, what he said is, but uh, well, you will miss the chance to have the gooseberry crumble, so you need to do it today. The reason for that is all the birds keep coming down, they're pecking holes in the side and they're starting to see whether they're ripe. Uh, and once they're ripe, they'll just whip them all off and then we'll miss our chance. So, we need to do it today. Hi, so today we've come into the garden uh, we're going to get some gooseberries to make a nice gooseberry crumble. So I've been and got some of the nice green gooseberries. Uh, they're a little bit sour, but they'll just add to the flavour. We get the sweeter red berries now. Right, so the recipe that I'm going to do uh, for this calls 500 grams of uh, fruit. So I've got a load of gooseberries here, so we'll take 500 grams of gooseberries. Then we've got some uh, golden Demera sugar, so use 85 grams of that, or 85 grams of uh, caster sugar. Then what we've got is uh, 75 grams of Demera sugar, and that, that's for the top. Uh, we've got 175 grams of plain flour, so uh, we'll do 75 grams of that and then we'll use 85 grams of salted butter and now for this I'm just going to use stock and then we'll just use a, a pinch of salt. So let's top and tail the gooseberries. See if you've never had a, a gooseberry before, these green ones are quite sour. Obviously when they've got sugar and everything in them, they crumble, uh, taste delicious. These red ones are also delicious. These are sweeter, they remind me of Harry Bowden pasty. So for this recipe, that I said before, we need 500 grams worth of gooseberries. However, uh, because I'm going to put a few raspberries in and a bit of rhubarb, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the 500 grams based on the fruit in total. What I don't want to do is overdo it with the fruit and then make it so it's, we've got a watery crumble. So we've got 480 grams, 570, so if we take, if we take a few of the gooseberries out. That's what we're going to be putting a bit of rhubarb as well, so it's just over 500. It'll be about 600 grams in total. I'll just uh, skin a bit of rhubarb. Done in little chunks, I'm doing quite decent sized chunks because we don't want these to lose all the 
moisture and ruin the crumble. So anyway, so just a bit in there. Uh, so all together we've got 100 grams more than what we should. So all I'll do is I'll make a little bit more crumble uh, to go with that. So your recipes do say uh, to put two tablespoons of, of water in with the fruit, but because I've just freshly washed it, and there's water on the fruit, I don't want to make it too watery, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. grams of stock so here we go so I guess it's gonna be about now is add a pinch of salt what I now do is basically knead all this together and so we've got all the flour mixed in with the butter Better just to keep coating the butter. Just rub it together just so you've got like a fine breadcrumb type uh, texture to the crumble. Still feel a few large buttery bits in there that we need to just rub in. We've got this crumble mix. So now what we want to do is get the shift that out of the way. Bring the roll old stalky boy. Alright, so now we've got the got all the fruit with the sugar on. Uh, we get the crumble mix and we'll just evenly evenly scatter. I think we in the middle and I'll spread it out in a second. There we go. That's that on, so just evenly spread it across the fruit. And then mix you go 75 grams of the mirror sugar now because I've already put the caster sugar in I'm going to evenly spread this across the top so I want it to stay crispy on the top and the sugar should Help me to do that. Probably should have put a bit in with the crumble mix. So then just get a bit of a rough round on top of the crumble mix. And then that's ready to so go in the oven. So we bake this. At the 160 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes until the top is it's, uh, like a pale golden and crispy. So that the sugar all, should all turn crispy, and then that should be should be that. You can grill the top to make it a bit more brown.
Yummy, yum, yum. Yummy, yum, yum. <laughs> Food poisoning. <laughs>